All right, everyone. Welcome to the video. This is uh, part seven of RabbitMQ tutorial series. So, in the last part, I we developed the object-oriented code for the sender and receiver of a RabbitMQ. So, what we are about to do now is basically I want to use context manager for this. Now, what I'm trying to say is basically here you can see I have to let me show you the code again. This is not an efficient code, so I can make it like even more better with context manager, and that is what I'm about to do. So here you can see I'm creating a connection and at the end I'm closing the connection. But why should I uh, why should I remember when I mean I ha I need to remember right? I, okay, I have to close my connection. What if automatically something takes care of it? There is a magical method in Python called as dunder enter dunder exit. So let's try to implement the the dunder basically dunder enter and dunder exit and um, modify our code. So let's get started. Uh, so this is the code from part six. So what I will do is basically I want to use context manager, right? So here you can see I'm already creating connections. Uh, so let's use context manager. This will make sense. I'm going to print a message call as enter so that you can see that this method was called even though I'm not calling this method, right? That's the whole idea. So let's see. So connection stuff, we are calling the Pika connection and <clears throat> we are basically um, initializing all of that. So self dot server. Okay. So what I'll do is basically this connection object, right? I'm going to, I'm going to cut it from here and I'm going to move that into, into the context manager. Uh, yep. That looks good and let me give a space here and i'll show you how powerful the context manager is now okay uh, so that's fine now let us define the, the, the dunder get uh, exit method oops the indentation is a little bit off here let's fix that first otherwise we'll get error yep that's fine all right so dunder exit uh, print let me zoom in a little bit so people who are viewing it on YouTube it's easy for you to uh, follow up so just printing a message so that you can know that this method was executed now the closing of this uh, database I'll I'll do it not here I'll do it in the context manager now see the magic guys okay let's remove this from here okay and uh, let's fix the spacing we want to follow pep8 all right lovely fix that all right looks good now the code it's the same thing right now instead of using this rabbit mq what i'll do look at this uh and one more thing i forgot is to return the instance object uh Perfect, lovely, no more issues. So now let's run the code. So this was my driver code, right? Now see how I'm changing it. So I'll use context manager here. I'll say with uh, the name of the class, remember? So with RabbitMQ, I'm gonna pass the server to that ob server object as RabbitMQ. Okay. Uh, what I'll do is basically rabbit MQ, the instance that I just created, and then dot publish, right? Call the payload here. See, the, the, this all techniques are efficient ways of programming. I mean, you can write code in just single way. I mean, there is no harm in doing that. But I mean, I like to write my code, like I wanna make design patterns and everything in my code. So that's how I like it. So now this code, what it does is automatically it will connect, create a connection and close the connection. So I don't need to worry about uh, the closing and opening of the data, uh, database or the connection. This is what it does. Another thing that I could have done is basically to make it more efficient, I could have used slots. So if you don't know what slots are, please watch my videos on slots. I have a very nice videos on slots. So this is even more efficient code, uh, right? So let's place that in the slots so that nobody can uh, do crazy stuff at runtime. Uh, 
Uh, this should be fine. Yep, should be fine. Let's try to run our code and uh, see if this new changes are being accepted. So I'm gonna run my receiver code. That is the uh, before even doing that, I need to run my um, uh, RabbitMQ server, which I will do it right now. RabbitMQ, so sudo RabbitMQ server. Uh, RabbitMQ server command not found. Sorry for that. Let's rerun that. I think the server is already running. I am I'm, I'm pretty much confident about it. All right, let's just run it and see if the receiver works. I think the server is running, so I'm going to leave it. All right, here you can see the server has started and waiting for messages. OK, so that's my sender that we we just managed to use context manager will run it try to run it might give errors and yes it is giving error attribute rabbit mq has no attribute known as underscore connection all right so let's try to fix that so this one right here i forgot to give it in the slots yeah it should be fine now uh should not complain about it now let's try to run it this is my receiver. Um, so what does it says? Attribute underscore connection with RabbitMQ server as RabbitMQ self dot channel. So attribute. Uh, so we it's it's not able to do that. So let's do this way. So let's remove this from here itself and put it here wherever it was originally and the closing of the connection i'm just going to do it in the here in the dunder exit method so now let's try to run it right that's what i was expecting and i i got that so publish the message and if you see the receiver we have received uh, the data now what happened just is basically if you observe so by default automatically dunder enter method was enter uh, was first executed then your published code whatever i executed so basically um, and then the, by default the exit. So what what happened is this is why it is more efficient because if even if I forget to close the connection by default in the exit method, like think of this as a destructor. So by default it will exit the connection right here. No matter I do it or I don't do it. So similarly in the enter part I can do like the connection of a database and stuff like that. So this is how useful um, context manager are and you should highly use it. Um, I hope this uh, video was useful. If so, do give a like. And here is one more example of context manager while using file. So here you can see enter and um, uh, basically exit. So first will be enter would be executed, then the the writer method and then the exit method. So here basically you should, what you should do is basically you should close the file, close the file, close the connection and stuff like that. So all the closing stuff should be always done in Dunder exit method. Right. I hope this is useful and you have learned a little bit about context manager. If so, do give a like and subscribe to my channel. If you have any more questions, please let them know in the comment section. I would highly, um, I would be very happy basically to assist all your questions. Thank you very much uh, once again for watching and see you in the uh, next video. Keep learning, keep smiling, keep coding Python. See you guys next time.